Hello, in this video I want to show you a couple of shaders that we've introduced in VREC 1.2 for convenience. Uh, this will mainly be useful for architecture firms or interior design companies that want to um, perhaps um, add a new dimension to the uh, pro uh, product demos. So we've introduced the X-ray material and the cross-section shader. The X-ray material renders an object as if seen through an X-ray machine. And the cross-section shader allows us to render only part of objects, the part of object that is behind a geometry, in this case, a plane. So the X-ray material can be applied very easily to any game object that you have on the scene. Just drag and drop the X-ray to the material, to the object that you want to render in, with the X-ray vision. And uh, you can also alter things like color, the rim side, uh, from the properties of the shader. You can have a red material or gray, any combination that we like. So, um, but a cooler way of perhaps using it in a VR scene is, as we've done um, before, is um, using the switch material action to allow the user to select when you want to display it as an X-ray or not. So let's um, bring that cube back to its natural color. What we've done is make an, this x-ray cube a 3D button. We've deactivated the color highlights, so when it's selected or hover, um, it won't um, be highlighted with any color. And we've um, attached a switch action, and we are sw swapping the materials from the default to the x-ray material. If you need any help, just please look at the documentation on how to set up switch actions. Like this, we get that when the cube is activated with our pointer selector, then its material gets swapped to x-ray and back. So it can go back and forth. This is just a an example of how to use the X-ray material in an active VR scene. But the cross-section uh, material is almost as easy, but we naturally have to go one step further to configure which of the object, which geometry is going to control what part of the object that we're rendering. So to um, allow to use the cross-section shader of any game object, all we have to do is attach the cross-section controller script that comes with VR Easy, and the object needs to have a special version of the shader. Um, in this case, we are including with VR Easy the cross-section standard, but uh, we plan on increasing these uh, as user demands them. So this is just the standard shader in Unity, but it allows the cross-section um, ability to happen. And last but not least, we have to configure this cross-section plane, and this is the geometry that is going to control which parts of the object are rendered or not. And I'll explain it through an example. So if we have the cross-section plane, which is this plane right here, anything that is all above the positive y-axis will be uh, won't be sorry will be a hidden. So um, because all the entire geometry is below the y-axis or in the negative part, everything can be seen. But as we go uh, below that level, then we can see how the geometry is hidden. We can also see how the when in the intersection um, area, we can color that or highlight that in a particular color. And we can change that through the shader properties. I can make it highlight red want to. Okay, you don't have to have this plane actual, the geometry actually being shown, so it 
hide it, it will work just as well. This is just a marker to um, select which part of the geometry you want to actually render. And what we've done in this scene is controlling control that plane using the sliders. So there it goes. The y, this slider controls the y axis of the geometry of the plane, and that one controls what part of the objects are being rendered. Also, uh, you have the rotation being controlled, so you can see this is uh, six degrees of freedom, so we can control the rotation and the position of this axis, and the shader uh, will uh, work as well. All right, thank you very much.